as we welcome you to Orchard Park with two minutes left in a four-point game. Kirk Cousins back to throw on fourth and 18. He's given time. He wants Jefferson. Climbs the ladder. Oh, my goodness. Justin Jefferson pulled it in. The catch of his life. But we got to look back at this. How does he maintain possession all the way through? Not allow that ball to hit the ground. And he just steals After it the play, from Cam Lewis. Foul, unnecessary reference, defense number 47. That's a 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Justin Jefferson. Yeah, Mark, you do get credit for not turning it over, and they haven't so far. As Heineke avoids pressure and heaves it deep. Samuel, the officials don't know, and Samuel makes the catch. There were three Vikings and an official, but Samuel... Made the catch. One official is saying he's in for the touchdown. I mean, Bynum's all over this. It's a touchdown. It's a touchdown. You're running down the football field. And you see Bynum right there runs into the official. He's just sizing it up. And somehow, somehow Samuel just finds a way in there. Did anybody touch? What? It certainly didn't look like it on the replay. Steve Patrick, the back judge, ran interference. <laughs> I chuckling, but Samuel stayed with it. What a heave from Heineke. Number one in the league on third down. Yeah, yeah they are the Bills, 56% on third down. But it's third and ten, throwing into the wind. Way down the field. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be 98 yards to Gabe Davis. A 98-yard explosion. Josh Allen to Dave Davis. What an incredible read and what a route by Davis. Wallace, watch down here. You're going to get a bracket. He's going to turn and run. And Davis is going to run right through them both. And as soon as you see that safety come down, Josh Allen under duress in the end zone to open the game with a perfect strike in the wind. And Davis shows that big playability, 11th touchdown of the year. Ready to go. Walker on first down. Moving to his left. And now Walker fires downfield, looking for DJ Moore. Oh, the end my zone. God! Makes a diving catch for a Panthers touchdown. Wow! 62 yards. Carolina has tied the game. It was really all about DJ Moore. He just keeps going. And and I have no idea why everyone slowed up. They should have never slowed up. Rashawn Evans, he's supposed to be helping play the middle of the field with Dean Marlowe. And they both let the best player for the Panthers get behind them for a 62-yard touchdown. Unreal. 7-1, and one, trying to win a seventh in a row today. Here's Delvin Cook on first down, and Cook's got room. Delvin Cook takes off. Down the sideline, there he goes. The big play they desperately needed. Delvin Cook with a 71-yard touchdown. Coming in, they're going to climb here. You get the great block here. Now what that does is it puts you one-on-one -on -one with Christian Benford, 47, right there. Look at this. Okay, here we go. You and me in space. He kept him on his inside. You give him credit for that. But then that it, once he got to the sideline, that's a touchdown. That's at 71, 81 yard touchdown. There's Jefferson with a key block. And Cook off to the races. And the family enjoying this special day with the boys playing. Chargers have had the ball for five minutes. This is the 11th play of this drive. To the end zone he goes. And can he one-hand it in the end zone to Mike Williams? Yes. Mike Williams. What a night. Take Sneed to the outside. Usually that slot corner. By the way, he's in phase. Pretty good coverage, kind of that slow release, but look at the location. Unbelievable catch to get the right hand down and makes that catch, but the location of the ball gives him a chance. Pretty tight coverage.
by Snead. Right hand, right buttock as well. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. And the Ravens, and away we go from Maryland. DuVernay will bring it out. Got a block from Hill. He's got a lead blocker on the way, chased by the kicker. Getting a block from Harrison. All the way he goes. 103 yards. We mentioned at the beginning of this, DuVernay was an all-pro a year ago as the return specialist. Staking another claim this year by returning the opening kick. How about that, Kevin? Woo! Trubisky on the move down the sideline and reaching up for it is George Pickens, and he holds it in. So the rookie who looks so good in preseason has sparingly played the first two weeks, makes a great catch. Rookie on rookie, and what a catch with the right hand by George Pickens. This is a guy that's known when he was in college at Georgia. Vertical stretch the defense, make plays, incredible ball skills, and he says, shh, quiet. <laughs> It hurts. It's a deep ball. Looking for Devontae Smith. What a catch! Inside the five. Look at the concentration. Track the ball in the air. Go up. High pointed. Between two defenders. Mm. And if you're going to win late, you got to win early. Double move in the middle of that route. Beats Fuller. And then. They are moving that clock. Here is Hertz to the end zone, and it is caught for the touchdown by Devontae Smith on a contested attempt. So look at the game clock, bottom right. The clock was motioning, so they did get the game clock, uh, the snap off before the game clock expired. Clock ticking, down to 40 seconds. Heineke looking, Heineke. They keep the play alive again. He flips it downfield, and McLaurin, the hometown kid, hauls it in at the one-yard line. What a grab. He ripped it away from Stephon Gilmore. He, you know, they talk about the relationship between Tyler Heineke and Terry McLaurin. You can see it's kind of that double move. Once he gets that scramble and buys a little bit more time, he goes up with one of the best corner and most experienced quarterbacks in football, gets the ball on the shoulder and just rips it away from him. Robinson in the backfield. They call him a bulldozer. Will they give him the football? No, it'll be Heineke. Heineke, no signal. Yes, they say he's in. It'll be reviewed, but for the moment, touchdown Washington. Cedric Wilson is back for Miami, battling win. Oh, it's it was blocked on the play. Phillips got it. Picked up Van Ginkle. Got it for the touchdown. Andrew Van Ginkle on the block punt by Phillips. And the Dolphins up by 10. Phillips will be at the top of your screen. Watch, he goes right inside the wing, to pit, the wing blocker. He doesn't even have to block it with his hands. He blocks it with his stomach. And Van Ginkle comes up, scoop and score. Left side of the screen, see Phillips come in. He found a way to make up. What is he going to look like right. coming back from basically two years out of the game? Yeah, he's missed a lot of football, and no one really knows what exactly to expect. Good protection aired out. Cooper! Dive and catch inside the 15. He was touched. But another big one from Brissett to Amari Cooper. Von Bell, who he's he's locked up, and he's not able to get then over the top. Hill is expecting help, but Von Bell's trying to disguise the look, and he's up in there a little tighter than what he should have been. And then as he tries to get out underneath it, Amari Cooper goes out and makes one heck of a play on the football. 
shove. Breaks through. Touchdown, Cleveland. Talk about that next man up mentality. It seems like everybody's taking that to heart. Get up, get up. The pitch to Pierce. Good blocking on the perimeter, and there he goes. Across midfield, inside the 10, and he'll take it to the house 75 yards with a monster. Troy Hairston blocked to spring him. Talk to Lovey Smith. Are you going to do anything different? Are you doing anything different in practice? Well, he said, we're doing the things that we believe in. And if we were going to change everything, that means we didn't have enough belief to begin with. Well, I remember after the very first game of the season, he said, we want Damian Pierce. And a touchdown out of empty. Eagles playing with pace. Hurts faking the hand off the pass. Bad into the air, and it's picked off. Intercepted by Cisco. Cisco still going inside the 20. Cisco! is going to score pick six for Jacksonville. Nine yards on a pick six by Andre Cisco. Became a starter for them late last season and boy, what a player he's turned it into. Seven nothing Jags on CBS. Murray, end zone throw. Oh, what a catch! One-handed, DeAndre Hopkins, and that is a Cardinals. Why would you ever throw this? Watch him come down here in motion. He's completely covered up right here. Why would you? Because number ten has got the biggest hands on the planet, and look at him stab that thing out there, making it look easy. You can't have better coverage if you're Harrison Smith right there. I mean, it was beautiful at the running back to play the style of football that he'd really like to be able to play right now. Third down and three, quick throw, what a catch! Samuel stays upright! Terrific catch and run! One-on-one -on -one with Ramsey, can't bring him down! Samuel, highlight reel, touchdown! If he throws this on the money lower, it might be an interception. But instead, it's high. Can't get it. Now it's a poor angle and tackle by Taylor Rapp. And then it continues. Here on the other end, there's a missed one right there by Jalen Ramsey. And so, uh, you know. McCaffrey behind the line, looking to throw it. Airs it out. Has Ayuk wide open. He's got it for the touchdown. McCaffrey, the touchdown pass to Ayuk from 34. What a dandy. Anytime a running back is so deep, watch, he throws it. It's a lateral. So see how he, Garoppolo throws it backwards? That's the indication that it's a double pass. Defense bites, and he finds Brandon. Got to get back here more often. It's a great area. And we will. Here's Allen, trying to go deep to Davis, he pulls it in, incredible catch, oh, incredible is right, this is, a, what is going on today, there's so much red in this, crazy. you're going to watch, he out throws the coverage here, you'll see 13 runs straight past the middle of the field, and Fitzpatrick does not get beat, he almost comes down, He's in perfect position, and he's going to rip it away from him, and Davis goes, no, I'm wow. bigger than you. And now on third down, Fields will goes. yank it, and there's room to run for Fields. Oh, Fields, baby. turn it on to speed. Fields on the angle, trying to outrace Okuda, oh. and he'll beat him to the goal line for the touchdown. Oh, wow. He's already the leading rusher on third downs. Big way. And watch this. 67 yards for the touchdown. I love the read there. He's reading Anzalone off the edge, number 34. But I love that they put somebody out in front of Fields also. It makes it difficult.